Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, everybody. Welcome from Florida. It's good to see you all tonight. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm going to put my camera down so that you guys can see my work surface. You like my ribbons? I know. <laughs> I'm going to do a little video and show that um, probably this weekend after I get everything taken care of because I got new racks. Um, so I got a lot of stuff on those two racks. So, All right, I'm going to put my camera down. All right, there we go. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I have these two trucks, and I can't decide which one I want to use. So I'm going to let you guys decide. So everybody can uh, kind of keep in mind, these are the two that we have available. And um, pick whatever one you like. They're both basically the same one. They're going opposite directions. This tree has a star on it and some garland and a snowflake. This one just says Happy Holidays. So I, I don't know. We'll see when we get to that part um, which ones. And then I have a whole box of goodies over here. And it's mostly uh, the pine greenery that we're going to be using. But I do have a little bit of um, these red berries and that to throw in with pine cones and stuff. So first I am going to make a bow though. And normally I don't do these on a live. But two reasons. Um, one, this probably isn't going to take all that long to do. And two... Um, I was on a Zoom call, and um, I really needed to be there for that rather than making my bow. So tonight you get to see me make a bow. <laughs> it's something I hate doing on lives. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. If y'all wouldn't mind sharing this for me, um, that would be wonderful. Um, I was not able to share it. So, All right, so I have two different ribbons that I, I found this one first I was going to use. Um, it's got the red truck with the tree, and it says Merry Christmas. Then this one just has the red truck with the tree. So I'm thinking I'm going to use this one because it says Merry Christmas on it. And then because I wanted to go, if, if I go with the one with the snowflake, I was just going to add this in. Originally, I was just going to use one ribbon and make a bunch of bows, you know, a bunch of loops with it. Um, thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate that. Hello, everybody. I'm sorry if I can't call you all by name, but the comments are going by kind of quick. Thank you for sharing. So anyway, I thought I would do these two here. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to make a bow. Hey, hey. Thank you guys for coming. All right. So I use the Easy Bow Maker to make my bows. This ribbon came from Hobby Lobby last year. Um, it's got a little bit of glitter in it, so I like that little shine. I don't need to cut the end. I don't know why I'm bothering with that. All right, so I don't need my tails to be too long because I'm going to do um, long tails and kind of weave them throughout the wreath. So I don't need them to be really long. So we're just going to go with the 8 inches for now. And I'm not going to worry about which way the trucks are going because, one, it takes forever for me to do it that way. And two, I don't think people care sometimes. I don't think they know even notice it, really. But if they do, then that's on me. But... It just takes forever for me to try and do it by hand because I do not make bows by hand. I can barely make them with a bow maker. Why am I going to try and make them with my hand? And I like to do five and a half inch loops. Welcome, everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If we can get um, enough uh, people watching tonight, I have a sign to give away if anyone wants one. And we are almost to the 5,000 followers. I am so excited about that. I think we are 53 away, which is super exciting. So what's everybody been doing this week? Are you all working on your fall stuff? Everybody should be working on fall right now. I know it's hard because we just started summer. But we really should be working on fall. Of course, I'm working on Christmas, so... But after Christmas in July, I will be doing my fall. 
I do it kind of in between too. When did I take the hearts and stuff off? Of what? When did I take the hearts and stuff off of what? Are you talking to me? When did they take the hearts and stuff off? Oh, are you talking about the little emojis down there at the bottom? Hey, they're from Kinston. I know where that's at. Uh, mine are still there, Carla, so I'm not sure why you don't see yours. I don't have a share button anymore. I do know that. That kind of makes me mad. I can't share it from here, but if I go out of the live, I can share it, which is kind of a pain to have to do. Yeah, my emojis are there, hon. I don't know why yours aren't there. What, what device are you on? They should be there. If you're watching it, you know what? I bet I know why. I was watching yours today, and it was in the watch um, section of um, Facebook. I don't know how I ended up there. And um, there was no um, emojis on that either. So that could be why. You may have to go into the actual live on my page. If you clicked on it from somewhere else, maybe. That's the only thing I can think of. All right, I got three on each side. I think I'm going to do a couple more. Yeah, I don't have a share button either. That it just that makes me mad that I can't share my own live. Of course, there's something been going on with my business page today. Every time I try to do something, even if it's just looking at people's comments that they've left on my page, I get this thing, this pop-up from Facebook that says that they are limiting what I can and can't do. And if, you know, if you think this is an error, you know, click on this thing here and I did. And I told them, I don't know what the problem is. I'm only doing what you guys tell me to do by inviting people to like my page. Not that they're ever going to respond to me because they don't respond. But So I don't know what's going on there. I can't do anything on my business page today. It won't let me like clear my comments. None of that stuff. All right, I think I'm going to do one more loop. That'll give me five on each side. This is going to be a big fluffy bow. Right, yeah, five. And I'm making them all the same size. When I put the one and a half on, I'll make that a little bit smaller. But I'm just doing them all the same size. I like to scrunch it down right here in the middle before twisting it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Yeah, my uh, my Facebook has been updated. I don't have anything new. Everything looks the same. I did the updates. But, you know, it, sometimes that share button's there, sometimes it's not. I can share other people's stuff. Just can't share my own. Which doesn't make sense to me, but you know what? I guess that's why I don't run Facebook. I'm great. How are you, Lillian? Yeah, I don't know what it is. I think they've got some kind of a glitch or something. That's the only thing I can think of. Because I haven't done anything wrong. I know that. So I'm not in Facebook jail. I'm not limited. Anything like that. So... I don't know. I think it's a glitch. I don't know. The more and more I think about it, the more and more I think I need to be over on YouTube. I don't have all this junk over there, you know what I mean? Anyway, let me move on before I get started <laughs> with all that. Alright, so I've got five loops on each side. want to make sure that my 
edges are out the way they're supposed to be. Y'all can see why I don't do these live. I say that all the time, but it's true. When I do these, when I'm not live, it really does take forever. All right, there we go. We'll fluff all that out when we get it off of here. <coughs> Excuse me. So y'all burning up? Is it as hot at your place as it is here? We have been so hot and muggy. I can't get my scissors up underneath the plastic. It has been so hot and muggy. Under my comments. Yeah, see I don't have anything. I don't have a share anywhere. I would love to be able to share it because then I know it's going to all the groups, but whatever. All right, so this one I'm using because it's got the snowflakes, it's got the red and green and the white, which goes with all the rest of this. And these are just gonna be a little bit smaller Hello, welcome. Thank you guys so much for sharing. I appreciate that. Like I said, we are almost to 5,000 followers. I'm gonna do my giveaway when I get there. We're gonna be giving away a bow maker. We're gonna give away a box of ribbon. I'm gonna give away um, some signs. And maybe a gift card. I don't know. We'll see how generous I'm feeling when I get there. <laughs> now, just before I came live, my husband walked outside to check the mail and saw my box from Sims, which is great, but the corner of the box was busted out, so now I don't know if anything's missing out of the box. So needless to say, FedEx just dropped it and ran. Okay, I did three on each side with this one. And now I'm gonna do uh, two more on each side, but a little bit smaller. So after I get done with this, I gotta go and see if I'm missing any of my goodies. Look like a whole box of mesh, so I'm really hoping none of my mesh fell out of there. You would think if it did, they would notice it. Welcome, welcome. That's so hot, oh my gosh. Is it as humid as it is hot though? See here, it's just so humid. It's like, you know, you walk outside and it just takes your breath away. All right, so there's two on each side. And I don't know if I want to put one in the center or if maybe I'll put like a pine cone or something in the center. Don't know. Um, hundred and five high humidity. See, that just kills it. Kills it. So last night was pretty exciting, guys. Apparently another wreath maker received um, some of those needles that I use that I have in my shop and, as a gift from someone. And she used them on her live last night and told everybody where they came from. So I, I got a bunch of sales from that. That was pretty exciting to wake up to. So of course I had to thank her very much because not many people would do that. One, two, yeah, okay, three, okay. Thought maybe I didn't put enough on one side. All right, so there's our big bow. 
Let me get my zip tie out here. Yeah, that was really nice of her. It was. I, I really appreciated it. And I sent her a message and I told her I did. Because not, you know, not a lot of people would do that for you. I mean, some will, but... Tighten this a little bit, not too tight. Let me get these tails in the front and I want that lock part of the zip tie on the back. All right. Get my hands in here. Trying to get these twisted out a little bit. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut longer pieces of the ribbon, probably the two and a half. That's why I didn't want these tails too long. And I'm going to put it up underneath it. But I do want my bow to sit up off of here. And I should have done this first. Before I did my zip tie and I didn't, but we'll just use a pipe cleaner. So I'm gonna take this piece of leftover Buffalo check mesh that I have. Um, I have like two pieces of it left. One's a little shorter than the other. I'm gonna take this long one and I'm gonna do a real quick, it's the fabric uh, mesh. I'm gonna do a little bit of a woodland ruffle with it. And then I'm gonna put this behind my bow because I want it to sit up. And I want to get rid of this mesh. Because, you know, you can't throw away a good mesh, even if it is just one piece, because you can use it for something like this. Right? Hey, Joy. Just making sure I have it centered here. And then I'm going to pop this. I should have tightened this first. Now I got to get my little thing out here. I'm gonna hold that so I don't have to redo it. Let me tighten this up. See, I think I'm going to put a little pine cone in the center. Because we're going for that rustic red truck feel. I'm trying to get this really tight. Mm. So I hope you all had a good 4th of July. What did you guys do? We went down to South Carolina and, and saw my daughter and grandsons, or grandkids, I should say, and um, son-in-law. All right, I'm going to use um, a brown pipe cleaner. When I do grapevines, I like to use my brown pipe cleaners for these. One, I can put this in here, and it kind of covers up my zip tie if I can get it in there and two I can use this to attach it to the grapevine and it doesn't show as much of course your wire would do the same all right then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in between here and then I'm going to unclip it so you're not really going to see this probably but it's going to give it a little bit of a lift. I don't want it to be down. It'll stick out a little bit on the sides, but. There. Gives it a little bit. A little something, something. All right. This is the thinner side. So this is what we're going to cover up. This is a fuller side over here. So we're going to do that. So 
So these loops are kind of flat right now, but that's okay. We're going to fix them. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let me get my needles out. I'm going to use the plastic ones because they bend easier going through a grapevine. So if you haven't used these, these are just little yarn needles, darning needles. They call them all different names. You can get these um, in my shop. But use these to help you get your stuff through a grapevine. It helps get your wires through your mesh. All that goody stuff. I use them all the time. They help with other things too. Pulls it right through. There it is. I wanted to make sure I didn't lose the other side of it. There we go. So see, it just peeks out a little bit right here and at the top. So it's just got this little bit of color all the way around it. Now I'm going to twist this in the back. Sorry if you guys can't see. Make sure to let me know if I get out of frame. I have a tendency to pull things towards me when I'm working on them. Hey, Carol, how are you? And then this brown pipe cleaner is easier to hide in your grapevine. All right, I think that's good enough. I'm going to clip that off. And we're going to tuck that back in. Just tuck it into the grapevine. There. And then we'll fluff these out some more. They're going to end up probably getting smushed the more I work on this. So I'm not going to be too particular about it at the moment. I just want to make sure it's going the right direction. I want the tails going down. There we go. All right. Oh, well, those tails are not exactly the same size. That's all right. Nobody's going to know. We're not going to say anything. You're having a hard time hearing me? My volume should be all the way up. Let me double check. Sorry for my hand being in the way. Yeah, my volume's all the way up. Anybody else having a hard time hearing me? I'm surprised. I'm pretty loud. <laughs> all right. I will try to speak up louder. Hey, sissy. Thank you. All right. So these were my two big ones that I was going to use here. So let's see, we got those two. I have some filler ones. Don't know that we'll use them all or need them all. I've got some with pine cones. And then I have some with these red berries, but I'm not liking them. And then I have some with the little snow caps on them. Don't know if I'll use any of those, but we're gonna use, pull them all here. Sounds good? Okay, great. Cause I already feel like I'm yelling. So pretty soon the neighbors are gonna hear me. Okay, good. Um, it might be her sound then. Maybe check your um, sound or go out and come back in. Sometimes that'll help. All right, so I don't know if I like these. These are those styrofoam balls, and it looks like kind of like, honestly, and I don't want to sound disgusting, it looks like mold is growing on them, only it's white instead of green. So I don't think I'm going to use those. But I might take the pine cones off of them. And if y'all are just joining me, these are the two signs. I can't decide, so I'm going to ask you all to pick for me tonight which one I should use. So keep these in mind. They both have the truck. The top one has the star on the, I mean, they both have the tree in the back of the truck. Um, the top one has the star on the top and a garland here. It's more of like a, a rail for the back of the truck. And then it has the snowflake. This one just says happy holidays. So keep those in mind. They're both made by the same place. I know, moldy berries. That's what it looks like. So 
<laughs> it doesn't, you know, I mean, there's a difference between when they put snow on something. This looks kind of cute. This looks like molds. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then I have these little red picks here too. So I got extra berries because one of those picks that I had here, this doesn't look like it has as many as the other ones. So. And these came from Hobby Lobby. This one here, these came from AC Moore when they were still open. These four. Stuff's flying all over now. And then the other ones came from Hobby Lobby as well. Although this one looks like a Walmart. This is a softer pine here with the little tiny pine cones in them. Those came with, um, those came from Walmart. And then this was just an extra pine cone one I had laying around. I want the pine cones off of them. So, all right, let me get my needle back over here where it belongs. I do too. The trucks are very popular. They're still very popular. For any time, Halloween, or not Halloween, fall, Christmas, Easter, um, the trucks are really popular. All right, so we're going to take these two, and these are going to be the big ones that we stick in here. We just have to spread some of these out, and I need to take the price tag off of them because nobody wants that on there. And this has some really thick wire in it. And then, of course, those red berries. So I'm just going to undo all of this because they pack them in really tight. I want to move them out so we can get a nice full coverage. And these were... Let's see how much these were. Regular price was $5.99 on these, so that's not bad at all. And then you got, you know, you get them 50% off. And they're, I call their tags nuclear tags because they don't want to come off. They would not come off in a major disaster, that's for sure. So keep my tags because I did not get this listed. I want to keep my tags so... I can remember what all I put on here. I am still old school. I like to write everything down that I use because, for instance, I made a wreath last year that sold and then somebody messaged me and wanted me to recreate it. And if I hadn't written everything down, I wouldn't know what all, and she wanted it exactly, so I wouldn't know what all I put in it just by looking at the pictures, which I keep pictures of all of them. All right, so see how thick this is. I'm not going to undo this. I'm trying to cut it would probably, um, break my hands. Although, I'm probably going to have to cut some of this off. We'll see. Let's see if we're going to have to cut it off. So, I'm not going to glue it just yet. I want to make sure that I put these in where I want them. I want them right up close to that bow. Try not to leave a gap. They're sticking up a little too high. Push it down. Who looked miserable? Oh, Anne, yes, with that thing on. Oh my gosh, poor Anne. All right, so these will be curled up, so I'm gonna just curl them out of my way for right now. There we go. That one works. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to cut some of that off. All right, let's get this tag off of here. Oh, 
Poor Anne, I wish we could do something for you. Alright, so I'm just moving all of these like I did on the first one. And then I'm going to move these berries over so that they can be seen. There we go. Hey, Josh. Give the babies kisses for me and Christina. I didn't get to see them for the 4th of July, so because we were gone and they were here. All right, so this one's gonna go in the opposite end. There we go, that one goes in a lot easier. So I will have to cut these down just a little bit because if you look on the back, here's the stick from the first one I put in. The second one, I don't see it poking through, which is a good thing. It means I don't have to cut it because those things are hard to cut. All right, so we can go ahead and glue those in. Hey, Tom, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing good. All right. So we've got these green pieces. I don't know what these are. I guess these are like from pine trees. That's what they remind me of, those needles from a real pine tree. We have a lot of those in North Carolina. Home of the pines. <laughs> More pines than I care to see. That was one of the things when we were buying our house that we were we did not want in our yard. Pine tree. No, 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 no. Those things are messy. I hate those things. Alright, so this one, because it was easier to put in, I'm gonna do this one first. Let's see how easy it is to cut. Oh, for, no, that's, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do that one. That's where hubby comes in. That's a job for hubby. I'm gonna get a good glob of glue on that stick. I have my glue skillet over here to the side. Come on, lift that up, and we're gonna go right back in where we were. Am I frozen? No. Yes, they do smell good, but they are a pain if you have them in your yard. My daughter had one in her yard. It was next to her house. And those things, the, the needles fall off and they get on her roof and they sit there and they cause, now see that one didn't, yep, hubby's gonna have to come and cut that one down for me. Um, and they just sit there and make the water collect so it causes problems with the roof. All right, this one has to come out. Oh, and it picked up some of the glue from that other one. Probably could have left it. I need to get me some of those um, big cutters, like for bolt cutters. That's what I need to cut these big thick ones. It would make it easier and then I wouldn't have to have help because when he's gone next year, I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> Who am I going to call to cut my stuff up for me? I'm going to be in big trouble. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't do this to me now. There it goes. Okay. Got to push that in. I'm not frozen, guys.
my feed and my uh, recording is um, still going. Whoops, what am I dropping? Oh, I'm pushing the moldy berries off of the table here. All right, let me try and get this a little bend. Yeah, I'm looking at it and it's it's not uh, frozen. If, it, if you're frozen, if you can hear me, go out and come back in. Because we're good here. I feel like this one is lifted up. <laughs> Do I? There we go. See, this side didn't have as many berries on it. So we're gonna add some more. I guess it does have the same amount. I don't know. Whatever. But we don't need the moldy ones. We'll put those over there. I do have these, though, to kind of fill in. It buffered for a second. Huh. Okay. See if I want to add any more of these in. Could be the weather, yeah. Yeah, we had a storm earlier. We've had one every day, which is typical for summer here. I don't know. Should I add another? Let's see. This one doesn't have as many either. Not frozen? Okay. Let's see how this looks over here. Definitely more on that one. I did love that box you got today, so much so that I joined her thing. I want goodies every month too. I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is. All right, but I do need to add some pine around the sides here, so I'm gonna grab some of these pine pieces and we'll just clip them off and fill in over here. All right, so what sign do you guys think we should use? Do you think we should use the Happy Holidays or should we go with the Snowflake? I will let y'all decide while I pick some of these apart here. I think I'm going to cut some of these off and add just add a few in. Oh shoot, I didn't want to cut that off, but oh well. Came off anyway. Just gonna give it a couple of these little snowy pieces here with the pine cones. You like the snowflake? Carla likes the snowflake. Joy likes the snowflake. Lee likes the happy holidays. Judy likes the snowflake. All right, I think I'm gonna do one more in the back here behind everything. Let's find a long one. Um, I want a long one with the pine cone on it though. Hmm. Let me see if I have a different one. Nope. All right. 
right, we'll just cut it off of here. Snowflake wins nine to one. Okay. We will do the snowflake. I am good with either one. Put some pine pieces in my bow as well. Let's get these over here. Alright, let's do the other side now. I don't know that I need these anymore either. Teresa, you like the snowflake too? <clears throat> if y'all are interested in learning about our design group, I have a design group with um, Carla, who's in here tonight, along with Susan from AC Inspired Wreaths. It's called Team of Dreams Design Group. There's the three of us. We do our designs um, on Zoom on Mondays and Fridays. It's $14.99 for three designers twice a week. We rotate so you get a different um, designer each class. We have our own um, unique styles and things that we do. So if anybody's interested in getting information about our group, all you have to do is type group into the comments and I will send you information after the live uh, through a private message. Or you can go to Team of Dreams Design Group and click on that. You can also sign up for my email list. I send out special notices and things like that and I also send out my weekly um, alert for when I'm going live a uh, reminder to you that I'm going live so if you're interested in that the link is posted at the top of my business page you'll see a picture of an email or you can type in email and I will send you the information and the link after the live And if you're interested in any of the supplies that I use and where I get them, I also have a list for that. And if you type in supplies, I will send you the link to get that as well. So just type supplies. And all that is listed in the description tonight for you. It just makes it easier for me to do it that way than to um, try to put all the links in at once when I'm doing a live. And I go back and answer all questions after my live, so I'm sorry if I've missed anything, but I do go back and answer even if I've already answered it. Just because I don't remember what I answer and what I don't. Um, let's see, I think I need one more over here. Oh, let's find one. We'll do this one. Ouch. Hit my elbow on that thing. Um, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna put one over here. Well, I hope y'all had a great 4th of July. Got to see lots of fireworks. We had a really good time. Kids did a good job with the fireworks. 
the, the older boys got to light them off for us, so that was fun. It was fun for them. South Carolina fireworks are legal, so they could do all the fun fireworks down there that we can't do here. We're not supposed to do some of those big fireworks here. I did post a video of our finale, though. All right, so I'm gonna take one of these little snow-capped pine cones, I think, and put that in here. But before I do, let's do, hair keeps blowing in my face and it's sticking to my face. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I knew about one of them, uh, Michelle, um, the cookie lady. Um, she got some from a, a mutual follower of our, hers and mine. And um, she sent me an email and told me that she talked about them, the, the girl she gave them to, the cookie lady. Um, she talked about them on her live because I had had some sales overnight on those. So that was kind of cool. That was really nice of them to, to mention me. I really appreciate that. All right, so I want one of these smaller pine cones. So that was really sweet. I appreciate that very much. They are popular, I'm telling you. They love those needles. And I know you can get them at Walmart and all that, but you know what? Sometimes they're out of them. And, you know, with me having them in my shop, you don't have to go out and buy them. They come to you. They're free shipping, so. And it's not like I'm making anything off of them, because I'm telling you, <laughs> just to ship those little needles is almost $3. I'm going to wait on that because I don't know if I like that or not. I might have to put one of those longer ones in. Oh, that's sweet. I really appreciate that. That's great. I like that. Not a lot of people would do that. I did um, send her a thank you message today. I, I sent her a private message and thanked her because I... Um, had heard that she had talked about them and mentioned my name. Because she could have just said that, you know, someone sent them to her. She didn't have to mention where they came from. But it was really sweet that she did. Nice. Who was the other person? Do you know offhand who it was? I knew the one lady that was getting them because um, when I got the, the sale for that one, I recognized the name because I watched the girl that she sent them to. Um, so I did know that she was getting them. I didn't expect her to, to talk about me, but... All right, so this one comes with a little hanger on the back. I'm going to leave it. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Because when it folds down, you can see it. Which way are my tails going? My tails are going that way. All right, so the truck is going to have to go... I'm going to have to wire this down. That flops around a lot. I know the cookie lady was one of them. Where's my pipe cleaners? Let me use a pipe cleaner since I have them right here. I'm just, this one kind of is flopping around a little bit, so I'm going to just take a pipe cleaner in here and go around the rib of that um, piece, that main wire, and I'm going to tie it to the frame. That was really sweet. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right, let me get my needle. <laughs> Well, I'm glad they like them, that's for sure. I do get a lot of questions about them. That's probably a very popular topic um, on my thing. So I said, you know what? What the heck? Why not just get them and sell them? Like I said, I mean, I'm not, it's not, I'm not, I don't sell them for a whole lot. So it's not like I'm making anything off of them. I just like having them to give to people, so... Makes it easier for them to get them, you know what I mean? Hi, Millie. All right, so this one, we're gonna tack it down. Yeah, she is. I've watched her, I, I, I don't get to see her as often live um, as I used to. When I first started, I watched her um, so I followed her for a while. I just haven't gotten to see her in a long time. So, and you know, I'm one of those people who I'm a silent watcher. I know I shouldn't be, but I watch a lot of people's lives and I don't say anything. I'll be known as the needle lady. <laughs> I guess there's worse things to be known for. <laughs> um, but I, I, um, you know, I'm one of those people who watches quietly. I don't, unless it's somebody I know, I usually don't um, say anything. All right, so I'm going to do this side too. <laughs> the needle lady, that's funny. And that's what's nice about these plastic ones is they bend through the grapevines. My metal one doesn't do that. Well, I'm glad they like them and that they use them. I know that... Um, Becky from the Cookie Lady, she said that she really liked them, so I was glad to hear that. She said that she didn't know why she hadn't used them before. All right. You started on your wreath and you're stuck? What are you stuck on, Diana? All right, I've got those in there now. That took long enough, huh? Let me cut that off. I just wanna make sure that that doesn't come loose and come off of there. You know, the glue is really good. It's, it's. Um, I use Gorilla Glue, but you know what? No glue is foolproof. So with that flopping around, I wanna make sure it doesn't go anywhere, so. But that, that pine cone did and I didn't even glue it in. Stayed right there. All right, let's see about the truck now. All right, we're not using the Happy Holidays. Let's get that out of the way. Just moving some of those pine pieces around. This bow needs to come this way a little bit. There we go. You never seem to be able to catch my lives. Well, you're on my live right now. You know what? It is because things are just, yeah. I just kind of sit back and watch. I mean, if it's somebody I know, of course I talk. But if I don't know them real well, then I don't say anything usually. I just kind of sit back. Unless I see something, you know, that a topic that I'm interested in or whatever, you know. 
All right, so what I'm going to do with this, I think, is I am going to staple this. And if I cut this off, I'm going to be left with two holes here. And I don't want to do that. So I think I'm going to cut them off in the back and staple them down there. Because I don't need the rope hanging off. Make sure where I'm stapling this because I want to make sure the staples don't go through. I had that happen the other day. And I hate when it shoots out two staples. Yeah, when I see heated topics starting, I'm out. I leave. I don't stick around for that stuff. I, I, I see I see enough arguing. I don't need to see it when I'm on live. Sorry for the noise, guys. So I'm just stapling those down so that um, they stay out of the way. And then I, um, I don't have to worry about those holes on the front. This is, it's just a regular stapler. I got it from Lowe's, um, but it takes three different sizes of staples. That's what I like about it. I can go from a quarter all the way up to a three eighths. It's an arrow and I got it at Lowe's. You can also get them on Amazon um, and I have a link to those as well. Um, this hanger though, I don't have my screwdriver up here, do I? Oh yeah, I do. I have a little mini screwdriver I use to get rid of these things on the backs. And I'll take it off and I save these because when you buy those other signs that you make rails out of, guys, keep these little things here and the screws, I keep them in a little box and you can use these to put on the back of those pictures or, you know, signs, the big ones that you buy that you can, you know, make a rail or a door hanging. And then you've got this hanger that hides in the back. So... We'll keep that. All right, there we go, guys. All right, so now, because this truck is going this direction, this front end is gonna get hidden, probably. What do we think? Oh, I'm sorry you've been sick, Ruth. I hope you feel better. You know, I grew up with, with a family that had, you know, family members who liked drama, and I just can't do it anymore. I hate it. I don't want it. I, you know, I, I watch people's lives so that I can escape. I don't want to have to, to watch fighting and drama and bickering and stuff like that, so... That's just my two cents worth. Nobody asked for it, but I gave it. All right, so what do we think, yeah? Leave it? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take a drink first. Because <laughs> my throat is very dry. Right? Calm and mellow. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna staple some pipe cleaners on the back. Let me see, I'm gonna put one on the front end and we're gonna put one about there in the middle, yep. Oh, it's out there, Judy. Be careful. It's out there. You had a spider bite too, Millie? Carla just had one. She got bit by a black widow. I'm telling you, I got to wrap these girls in bubble wrap. Between her and Susan, I'm afraid to leave my house. Because I'm afraid something might happen to me. 
I got Susan breaking toes, and I got Carla getting bit by spiders. I told them the other day. I don't know if I should, I didn't know if I should leave my house or not. God only knows what would have happened. Last one. Sorry. I know that's annoying, so. <laughs> All right, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it right here. And these are, I don't know if you can tell or not, these are uh, bottle caps. The wheels, the inside of the wheels are bottle caps that they screwed on. I wonder if it was a beer bottle, you think? <laughs> Somebody was sitting around drinking and went, hey, I know what I can do with these. All right, let's get my needle again. And we're gonna just poke this right down through all those grapevines. Right there. And I'm, I'm not gonna tie it off yet. I know I hate spiders too. I hate anything like creepy crawlies. They don't belong in my house or near me. All right, so now that I have both of those through, I can adjust it before tying it off. So yes, the front end is gonna go into the, the green right here. That's okay. We can make it so that it's not, there. We can move all this around a little bit so it's not too bad. And then we just tie this off. So I'm gonna need my needle one more time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loop this through here. Oops, it helps if it stays on. Gotta bend it over. That's <laughs> you driving into the trees. <laughs> that would be me. All right, so I'm gonna loop it around here. I'm gonna pull it tight, and then I'm gonna go back down, and then I'll tie it off. That gives it that little extra. There. One more, there we go. Now, what I'm gonna do when I get done is I will loop it around. I could probably use my wire to do it too. Freezing 10 pounds of blueberries, my lord. Well, have fun. Sounds yummy. What I'm doing is I'm looping it around the pipe cleaner on the back of the sign. If I can get my fingers on the needle. So we're gonna pull it tight. And we're gonna loop it around there. Boo berries. <laughs> and then when I cut it off, I'll just take the end and I'll stick that into the grapevine. And then what I'll do, I'll come back later with my glue gun because it's not on right now. And I will give that a shot of glue so that it stays on, tucked under there. And if I'd have been smart and when I put these on the back of the sign, if I'd have done them with two, two pieces, you know, folded the pipe cleaner in half, it would have been a lot easier for me to do this. But I wasn't thinking at the moment. So, now I have to do it like this. See what happens when you don't think? That's what my dad used to say. See what happens when you don't think?
All right, let's go through there again. I'm sorry y'all aren't seeing this. All I'm doing is running this needle through here. Let me move over here so y'all can see what I'm doing. So I'm just pulling that tight. And I'm going to go back up in here. This grapevine is an 18 inch. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that to go around there with the needle, so I'm going to have to do it by hand. Which is okay, because... Thank you. Yeah, I really like the overhead, too. Y'all don't need to see me. All right, there we go. I just had to wrap it around there. And like I said, I'll come back and I'll give that a shot of glue. So there we go. All right. Now, one more thing I'm gonna do real quick. I'm gonna have to find another pine cone for that. I'm gonna put one in there, but I think it's gonna be one of them long ones. Oh. I don't have any out here. I'll have to find one. Something like this, like these long ones right here. I'm thinking something like that, maybe. I don't know. I'll have to see which ones I have. Oh, this one might work. No. I need something that has a little bit of a point to it so I can go down in there without flattening out my bow. Anyway, we'll figure that out. If nothing else, I'll put um, some of those berry picks, these red berry picks from the other one in there. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take me some of this ribbon that I used. Sorry it's taking me so long, guys. Just cut this off right here. Thank you. All right, pipe cleaner. These grapevines are just falling apart. I used them all. I need some more pipe cleaners. Let me get another one. All right, so I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna gather it up at the end. Doesn't have to be neat. We're gonna take a pipe cleaner. We're gonna cut it in half wire cutters. We're going to wrap that around here. Get it as tight as you can. There we go. I'm going to go up here underneath the bow. Need that over there. This will go right through Let's use the needle and do it. Maybe. Acorns and little pine cones? Yeah, that would be good. I'm going to go right through this mesh and everything. Through the grapevine. Come on, go through. Well, I didn't want it to go that close to the edge. Got to pull that back out. You know what? Let me do this. Let's just make it easier. Undo this. So if y'all don't mind sharing this for me, I'd really appreciate it. I am trying to get to my 5,000 followers and I'm going to do a giveaway. I am going to be giving away a bow maker. Um, a box of ribbon. And some signs.
And we are 53 away as of the beginning of this live. So as soon as we get those followers, I'll be doing that. I just made the pipe cleaner longer so I could get this through here. Um, I want it to go right here. There we go. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. Almost 5,000 uh, followers. It'd be even better when I get to 10,000. I'm already planning that one. Do a giveaway for that too. I remember when Katie and them were trying to get their 10,000. Hey Trish. And now they're, you know, look at them. They've probably got 20,000 now, 30,000. All right, that took long enough. Took longer than I expected, but. All right, I will worry about tucking those in after. I don't want to keep you guys all night. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. I'm going to gather it up at the end, take my pipe cleaner, fold it over. So I was smart this time. I had two pieces. That way I can twist it around the grapevine. Get it nice and tight. No problem, Joanne. It'll be posted on my page and I will get it up on YouTube. I am probably two weeks behind on YouTube right now. I haven't posted the last couple ones. I'm going to do the same thing with this. Take these wires, put them through my needle, and I'm going to go up under my bow and tuck them in because I want this to look like it's coming out of my bow. So we're going to poke these wires down here. Thank you, Carla. Okay, where did the other one go? There it is. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. There it goes. Where's the end? Let me see. I want to make sure it comes out right where the other one is so I can tie them together. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to twist this around a couple times. Ugh. Try to get it as tight as I can. There. Alright, now with these half, half pipe cleaners, we're going to gather these up. I really didn't plan to keep y'all this late. So we're going to take these and pull these up. I'm going to gather this right here. And I want this to go like this. So there's, it looks like a little loop there. Let's see, maybe we'll make it a little bigger. How about that? There we go. Thank you. I'm going to put this pipe cleaner around it. Give it a good twist. Oh, thank you. Let's see if I can get this through without the needle. Oh, maybe. I found a good spot. Let's see if I can do it twice. Maybe, maybe. Thank you. You guys are too sweet. Oh, I did do it twice. Look at that. Alright, those are kind of short, so I gotta twist, twist, twist. And like I said, I will tuck these all in and give them a shot of hot glue so they don't go anywhere. And then um, we'll cover up the back, you know, where those are sitting. All right, so let me get this all tucked out. There. So we got that there. I should have done this beforehand so I can go up under the truck. Tuck on it. 
Oh, why didn't I think of that? You know what? Might have to cut it off. <laughs> what to do, what to do. Move these berries over is what I need to do. Doggone it. Let's see. Didn't think that far ahead, did I? I swear when I do things like that, I hear my dad's voice saying, see? <laughs> see? Oh, that's too, sh too long. I'm talking to myself again. Oh, decisions, decisions. Yep, that's going there. Oh, come on. Those things are stabbing me. All right. Let me try and get this. You know what? I'm not going to sit here and struggle with it. Why should I do that? Let's just get it done. Get it done. What is it? Get her done. There you go. Get her done. Doesn't want to go through. There it goes. There it goes. There's one anyway. Let's see if this one was going to go through. Oh, I just pulled it out, didn't I? Didn't I? Yep, I sure did. All right. So you know what I'm going to do? Hope y'all got something good planned for the weekend. I know there's probably not much everybody can do with so many states are closing back down and that, but hopefully you can get out and do something over the weekend that's fun. All right, I'll tuck that one in later. I'm gonna have to remember where I gotta go tuck all these back in at. All right, one more. I'm going to bring this one this way. There we go. And we're going to tie it off right here. I clean I forgot to cut it. We are going to get our driveway pressure washed on Sunday. How fun. Found somebody that would do it and they're going to do it on a Sunday. Isn't that something? Never had a driveway pressure washed before. I mean, to me, it's a driveway. Your car sits on it, you know? 
No, that should have been pulled a little tighter. Let's do it this way. Sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. I want these out. All right. Even when I try to hurry, I end up keeping y'all. I know there's a lot of lives on on Wednesday nights now, so where did it go? Let me find this one. I know I'm not the only show in town. Going camping. That sounds like fun. No. Not to me, but to you, I'm sure it does. <laughs> I am not a camping kind of girl. I think we talked about this last week, too. <laughs> Which really disappoints my husband because he'd love to go camping, I'm sure. We've been, you know, in the past, but I'm just not, you know. Now, if I can go in an RV. With actual plumbing and things like that, I'm good. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back and adjust this one. I'm not liking where this one's going. All right, we'll fix that. I'll go back and fix it. The truck I got last year from, uh, I can tell you, Walmart. This one is too big. I'm going to have to adjust that, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to leave it. All right, I'll fix those. I have to fix both of them. I made the loops too big, so we're going to leave it for now. I'll go back and fix them. I'm not going to make you all sit here and watch me fight through these. Um, I'm going to cut that the wrong way. Make you watch me fight through these uh, grapevines here. All right. So let's get these cut. I don't need them. Ah, see, I did it anyway. God, I just said I'm going to cut it the wrong way. And I did it anyway. That's all right. It's not like I don't know which way to go. All right. So again, if you all have any interest in our design group, just put in a uh, group and I will send you information about that. If you want any information about where I get my tools and supplies, I have a list for that. Just put in supplies and I'll send that information right out to you in your messages. And if you um, want to join my email list, you can either go to the top of my page and find that email picture. Click on that. There's a link. It will take you right to my sign up. And I send out information. Like this week I sent out, oh, that's another thing. I'm having a sale in my Etsy shop. Uh, all Christmas wreaths are on sale, 25% off. So you can get um, a Christmas wreath and put it up for this year. Or send one to a friend or a family member. Um, but I send out things, you know, like that, just to remind you I'm going live and to tell you about the sale in my shop. So that was this week's email. Thank you all so much. Sorry it took so long. This should have been a quick and easy thing to do and shouldn't have taken near as much time as it did. Um, but I will go back and I'm going to fix these loops that are way too big. I don't know what I'm going to do about that one at the bottom. I think I'm going to have to hang it up and take a look at it first. And um, I need to get these loops going where they're supposed to here. They're not, to me, they're not going in the right direction. Um, 
what was I gonna say? Oh, I'll fix those and I'll take a picture of it tomorrow and put it up. And then I'm gonna put some filler pieces in with my bow. I'm gonna take some of those pieces of pine that um, cut those off and I'm gonna stick some of those in the, the red berries, I think, a couple of those in there too and do that. Nice. All so right, guys, have a great weekend. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much for joining me today. And again, if you need any information, just leave me a comment and I will get back with you. Um, have a great night. Enjoy your weekend. Good night, guys.